Welcome, welcome. I got some good shit today about U.S.-China Ripple Relations and the XRP Tweet of the Day. Going to be a little bit longer one, so stick with me. Let's start with the XRP Tweet of the Day from Wall Street Bulls. The trend of de-dollarization is a huge nothing burger for the U.S. dollar, but a huge opportunity for XRP. XRP is truly decentralized and will facilitate cross-border payments between countries like China and Brazil, which are BRICS nations without relying on the U.S. dollar XRP is the future global digital reserve currency. I couldn't agree more, but look at this US-China ripple relation I found. Now, this is an official release back in 2017 from the World Bank about distributed ledger technology, DLT, and blockchain. In this article, the World Bank goes over many different distributed ledger technology options, one of which is ripple. What I found particularly interesting was this section right here where they say Ripple has its own cryptocurrency, XRP, which is actively traded, blah, 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 blah. But at the end, you'll notice this. The Shanghai Wari Bank recently announced that it is working on a remittance product using Ripple for the USA to China corridor. Interesting. Now, this was confirmed by an article a few years ago direct on Ripple's website. which mentioned the partnership with this bank and multiple others. Let's take a look. We view blockchain as a competitive advantage that allows us to provide differentiated products, serve the on-demand expectations of our existing clients, and grow our customer base, said Andrew Fang, General Manager and Head of Innovation and Research at Shanghai Huarai Bank. For example, using the Ripple solution, we're working on a new commercial payment service for retail customers that will allow them to send money from China to the US in other countries in real time. Now, this is just my opinion here, but one thing many people forget is that China thinks in thousands of years, not decades. And it sure as hell feels like someone else is pulling the strings right now, doesn't it? Now, maybe I'll post this video later, but there's already been video of Chinese officials talking about what they have done in the US in regards to acquiring influence. So one thing to ask yourself would be this, are the BRICS nations already using Ripple? Distributed ledger technology. We've already confirmed in this video that one bank has been using it for over six years. Now, we're only being given small pieces of the puzzle. And I'm sure you can feel the massive fucking change incoming. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the USA-Chinese corridor with Ripple and all of the above. Drop a comment below, subscribe, let's get the conversation going.